you like hunting and you haven't heard about Bear Hollow WMA in Franklin County, you owe it to yourself to check it out. Uh, we've got a little over 20,000 acres and it's in Franklin County. It's, it's all mountain, mountainous territory, but it's primarily hardwoods. And then uh, when we got the property, parts of it had been clear cut, logged, and we've tried to reclaim some of those clear cut. We've got a tractor running with a tree planter. We've got about 2,500 seedlings we're going to be planting today across a little over three quarters of a mile. He's got GPS on it. It's going to pull a straight line. If we've got a straight line, we can go. And um, we got a beeper on it that every six foot, we'll be able to know when to plant a tree. So we're getting a pretty good rhythm as we get going. The species we're using are wild plum, American plum specifically, and then native crab apple. These trees are actually more like shrub species, mid-successional species that are, are low growing, going to be less than 10 foot in height. And I've got these clear cuts up here and I've got these roadsides that, you know, really don't have much of an edge to them. Much of the, this will create kind of like the old fentro from the old farming days. It's, the, it's kind of the idea. So I thought this would create a kind of a travel corridor, nesting, food, you know, a lot of different benefits. And it'll kind of block off and give the animals a little bit of, you know, security from the road. Big wheel here in the front, cut your slit in the ground. And, and you got the spade back here that opens it up, and that's where you put your tree at. And then the tires back here close it, close it in. But it's designed to create a really dense, thick hedgerow that's going to provide soft mass fruit in addition to cover for wildlife. You know, planting that soft mass, it's something different. It'll create some extra cover for rabbits and quail, and it'll be a food source as well. It's not just cover, it, you know, in the early fall, it'll provide another, another source of food for deer and turkeys and squirrels. They're not managing for one particular species. What they're doing is they're creating habitat, and in the end, it's an effort just to create a better outdoor experience. With the species we're planting here, uh, I would expect within three to five years them to begin producing flowers and fruit. And uh, it's immediately during this growing season, they're gonna leaf out, they're gonna be again growing, and the cover component of this hedgerow will, with woody plants, will begin to be used by wildlife from a cover aspect. It's about nutrition, but it's also about attraction because we want to attract as much wildlife as we can to our WMAs to provide that enjoyment to folks that are coming out here to hunt or coming out here to watch wildlife. When you diversify the plant community, you, you can diversify the number of wildlife species they're using. So by, by increasing plant diversity, we in turn can increase wildlife diversity.